Some time ago, I did a video comparing these two replacement Baofeng microphones. This one worked a lot better than this. A viewer later commented that if you improve the position of the microphone element relative to the hole, then the audio would improve. Another video I did was a handheld transceiver range tester. I used two UHF handhelds. This one as a receiver, when it picked up a signal, produced audio which triggered the Vox or voice operated transmit setting which most modern handhelds have. That setting caused this to transmit and you could therefore hear a signal from it on the distant handheld whose range was being tested. That worked but required two handhelds. This video describes a different range tester. All it needs is one handheld equipped with Vox and a spare microphone that we need to modify. The idea is that when it picks up a signal, such as triggered from the distant handheld that you're doing the range test for, it triggers the Vox and then sends a short transmission. This range tester just uses a speaker microphone. I haven't had to disconnect any connections, but I haven't tried the speaker microphone to see if it still works with these parts connected across it. Across the microphone connection is a 1.5k resistor. It's wired between M plus and M minus. Going away from M minus is a 47k resistor. The free end of that is connected to this 100 nanofarad capacitor. Finally, that capacitor connects to SP plus. So basically what we're doing is we're taking audio from the speaker isolating it with the 100 nanofarad capacitor and attenuating it with this 47k resistor in conjunction with the 1.5k in parallel with the microphone. When audio comes up on the receive frequency, it sends some audio to the transmitter and there's enough time for the transmitter to be triggered for a short time. This of course is when the transceiver is set to Vox. I've got it on a position of two. I also suggest putting the timeout timer on the shortest period available. 15 seconds in this case. The Roger beep should be set to off, otherwise the thing has a feedback and it keeps transmitting and beeping. I've set the volume control to nearly maximum on the receiver. I'll transmit on another handheld transceiver. Just pressing the PTT on another transceiver didn't have any results. That's because audio is needed to trigger the Vox. To overcome that, you blow into the microphone, press the PTT, and then there'll be sufficient audio for the transmitter range tester to activate. I'm just a meter away from the camera so you can hear me blowing. This is testing with a dead carrier. As you could hear, only when audio was applied did the thing trigger. Now with the unit on a bookshelf, I'll go for a wonder to test this range tester. You can't hear much from the speaker, but you can see from the display that a transmitted signal is being received. But only if you blow into the microphone, a bit like a breathalyzer. <sighs> it's not elegant, but it works. If you've got a spare Baofeng microphone, why not sacrifice it to this experiment? If you like it, you could add other features, such as identification, telemetry, or even connecting it to a voice thermometer so it can tell you the temperature in a remote location. If you want to get the most from Amateur Radio, check out my ebooks.
all have been favourably reviewed and you can get them for a low price in electronic form. Visit my website vk3ye.com and follow the links or search their titles in Amazon.